Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about another JavaScript topic. This one will be about the call stack. So I'm just going to show you a basic example of how the call stack works in JavaScript and also show you a diagram explaining uh, what is happening. So whenever you run a simple JavaScript program, uh, the first thing that happens is uh, JavaScript will run your program line by line. So let's say for example this is our program here and we have uh, two functions, function A, function B. And so what first happens is we will uh, JavaScript will take these functions and actually create some memory space and store them in memory. So uh, that's what's happening here and then from there we will go on and continue to execute line by line the code and as you can see here we have a function here that's being called which is the function a and so uh, to back up a little bit when the JavaScript program starts uh, we have this here which which is called the call stack so what happens first is on the call stack is but basically all the call stack is is the stack of all the functions that are being invoked in your program so whenever the your JavaScript program first runs it's going to run it's going to add to the call stack the global execution context so that's just initially what happens when your program runs and so uh, we have that which is always there it's always on the stack and then what happens is we have we're running our program line by line and we get to our function invocation which is here in A so we run our uh, function A so that gets invoked so then what happens is since that function was invoked that function will be added on to the call stack so if you can visualize it we have we're going to push um, this function a execution context onto the call stack so we run our function a it's pushed onto the call stack and now we are in the execution context of this a function so now in here we're going to run the code line by line in function a so then first thing that we see is we see an invocation of another function this one will be function B that we had defined down here. So uh, line by line we're going through so function B is being invoked so since function B is being invoked that function invocation it's now going to be added to our call stack. So then now we will have our function B added or pushed onto the call stack and then because we uh, inv inv we had b invoked the function b invoked we are now going we're now going to go inside the function invocation of or the execution context of function b so now we're actually going to go run the line by line whatever's inside this function b and so right now there is nothing in there so um, basically we are finished running this B function so now what happens is that this uh, function B execution context will be popped off of the call stack and now we are going to go back to our A execution context because that's what's in our call stack that's left and so now we're back in A and we're gonna run the next line and it's just and all we're doing here is declaring a uh, variable which is D so then after that we are done running the uh, a function so now we will pop it off of the call stack because we are currently uh, not running that function anymore and then now we are back in the global execution context which is always there it's always going to be uh, there um, whenever your program is running and so now we finished running um, this a function so now we'll go to the next line and we're basically done so there's nothing else to run and uh, that's basically how um, the call stack works in JavaScript 
So you have your program and inside your program you have a list of you know different functions, variables, and some functions may have functions inside them that are also being invoked. So whenever you're going through a program and you're going through it uh, line by line, you uh, just kind of imagine this uh, diagram of what's happening. You have a function invocation, so we have A. So A is going to be pushed onto the call stack and now it's going to enter a new execution context and inside that execution context we're going to have you know we may create some variables or we may have some other functions that we create and all of those variables will be stored inside that execution context of that function and so like we did before we have an invocation of B so then now we will pop B in or push B into the call stack and then we're gonna go into B and we're gonna run that line by line and then we're, there's nothing to run, so we'll pop it off now because we're done. And then we'll finish running A, and we'll just declare a variable, and then we're done. So we'll pop that off. Now we're in the global. And then now we're done running our program. So that's pretty much how the call stack works in JavaScript. Um, just a basic example. So hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you guys um, learned something new today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And yep, so thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.